happy Thursday. I have a beautiful word to bring to us and I want you to hear the sound of the beautiful bird singing right now. I don't know if you can hear Amazing Grace singing. Alan Jackson is singing Amazing Grace on my computer right now. And um, just the sound of the birds chirping, the sound of spring coming forth and Amazing Grace and this beautiful word full of truth and grace I pray that it'll, it will lift up your spirit, your soul, because I've been kind of down, discouraged, so I need this word today, and I pray it'll bless you as it has me. Today is a day to trust me. I know that things have been difficult for you. I know how hard you've been working, and I'm asking you to trust me and know that I'm guiding and leading you. Sometimes, for me, it gets hard to trust the Lord when you don't see the miracles that you have been praying for over a decade and you've been believing and standing on and, you know, you're just weary. I know that I'm not the only one, but that's what I've been feeling. I've just been feeling weary and I'm like tired, you know, I don't want to you know pray anymore but I do um, because you can't have a life with Christ in Christ and fellowship with God without prayers it's just not possible amen and praying is just um, our hearts our thoughts um, connecting fellowshipping communicating with the Lord and without prayers without communication you know there's it's not possible for us who are born again by the Spirit of God to exist without prayers. So anyways, where am I at? I'm asking you to trust me and know that I'm guiding and leading you into a wonderful place where you're going to receive more than what you've asked for. Hallelujah. I know this is true because God has shown me that in so many dreams and yet you know I don't know why I get so like oppressed and my soul gets so downcast and then when I think about all the promises of God in his word and in the dreams that he's given me I'm like what am I sad about so that's why I'm just laughing I mean the joy of the Lord is in me right now <laughs> all right and this is not the time to give up. When you trust me for rewards and payment for your labors, you escape a million sorrows and frustrations. Not only that, you'll have a feeling of holy expectation. Glory, hallelujah. That was a holy laugh, just so you know. <laughs> this feeling is one of delight. I want you to experience delight in your soul as you're being fed what I just felt that was a delight in my soul because that was supernatural and like I said I've been weary and downcasted in my soul um, yesterday evening um, which I shared in a video and even this morning you know when I was on my knees next to my bed and just praying to the Lord I didn't have much to say I'm just tired weary physically emotionally mentally and it's just like I need to get in the Word of God I need to get um, I need to eat the bread of heaven because I need strength for today and so as you can see I have strength I have joy I have faith because I've chosen to eat the Word of God amen all right this feeling is one of the light I want you to experience the light in your soul as you're being fed by my Holy Spirit stay strong stay strong brethren stay strong amen and praise me in this time of spiritual growth we are growing daily in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ amen from glory to glory to glory even if it's through hardship well he always uses <laughs> hardship <laughs> hardship pain disappointment sorrows tears you know we're growing hallelujah and the words I want to bring to us today is from Luke 8 and 21 and Romans and Colossians and James. So here it is. 
receive strength from the word of God. Luke 8, 15 to 17, or actually just 15. But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Keep the word, hear the word, hear this word that I'm bringing today, the word of God, the living, active, powerful word of God. Amen. Let it get deep in your soul, in your spirit. Keep it. And in time with patience, we will bear good fruits. Hallelujah. For the glory of God and for our good. Luke 29, 19 says, In your patience possess ye your souls. So we have to be patient. Amen. To possess our souls. What does that mean? Be patient till the end. Hallelujah. For God to bring and fulfill his promises on earth in our lives till the end. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans 5, 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. I can't, <laughs> I can't honestly say hallelujah to that one. Because <laughs> I am not glorying in tribulations half the time. Afterward, I'm like, yes, thank you, Lord, for bringing me through that. I see now it's good for me. I see now that I am stronger today um, than three years ago before the storms and the tribulations began. But while I was going through it, I can promise you, I am not saying glory, hallelujah, for this tribulation. That is just not who I am. But the Lord is trying to transform me. Um to walk in the spirit as he is transforming all of us who are born of his holy spirit amen to glory in tribulations it's impossible to do apart from the spirit of god in us amen so anyways let me keep going but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and this is exactly why we glory in, in tribulation because i don't know about you but I do not have a lot of patience and um, I don't like that and I ran from God I remember him trying to work that patient a uh, long-suffering enduring thing in me in 2011 and I remembered I was not glorying in it and I was just like moping around in my house because my husband was in Korea for a year so I was home taking care of our infant boy which I love to do and my two um, older sons they were like I think six and nine five and a half and nine and a half yeah mm -hmm. five and nine so I had my precious babies which I love 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 being their mama love those moments and seasons but I didn't want to cooperate with the Spirit of God trying to produce patience long-suffering and endurance in that season of my life I wanted my husband home I wanted all of us to be together but you know what it was one of the most powerful time that I experienced with me and the Lord it really was because God did so much deep deep healing in me to help remove me from being so dependent on a man so dependent on relationship with a man um, because I belong to him first and foremost he's my creator he's my redeemer and I am his bride and he's my bridegroom and he's my husband and so is he to you if you are a born-again child of God amen so the Lord had to do that in me and I remember him telling me you're not going anywhere this time I got you and I was not happy with that but he did and it was awesome thank you father thank you Lord all right the last couple of scriptures, Colossians 1.11, strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. These are tough. What? Long suffering with joyfulness? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, father. <laughs> Ooh, he is not an easy daddy, okay? He's an awesome, awesome, amazing, wonderful, perfect, flawless, magnificent. I already said wonderful. He is all of that. He's awesome. However, he's not easy. 
It is not easy to be a child of God. Seriously, long suffering with joyfulness, glory and tribulation, but it is done through the power of His Holy Spirit. It is possible only by the power of His Holy Spirit. And this is why Jesus said, you must be born again of the Spirit of God, amen? Because we cannot walk with Christ apart from repentance and receiving the forgiveness of sins and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's Acts 2, 38 and many other scriptures. So, the last one, James 5, 11, Behold, we count them happy which endure. We count them happy which endure. Happy and endure. Hmm. They don't go together in the natural. But in the spirit, when we walk in the spirit by the power and might of the spirit of God, happy comes when we endure. Amen? Oh, wow. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Sometimes it doesn't seem like he is because sometimes like our suffering and tribulation goes on forever. It's just like decades. I'm like, you know, how long, how much longer, Lord? How much longer? And yet, all the while, God is faithful, patient, long-suffering with us. Amen. Because love is long-suffering. Love is patient. Love is enduring. And love hopes. So I pray that this word brings you encouragement. I, I feel a lot better already. I'm going to head off, run a couple errands, go to our meetings today. And I pray that you will take this word with you. Walk with Jesus. Amen. He will give us strength and power and might to endure patience with joyfulness. And we can glory in our tribulation. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless you. Take time to give Him praise today. Like the birds. You hear them?